Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Meg here. I'm on my apron. <laughs> I've got apron on, as you can see. So today, guys, in this video, I'm gonna be cooking Meg Hawaiian chicken. So first, I'm gonna show you. This is the chicken that I marinated. So I'm gonna um, drain it a little, you know, to remove the 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 sauce or the you know basically i'm gonna put it over here so before i put it to fry like that you see guys my tip is um when you fry chicken or marinated chicken or even not marinated you have to make sure that you drain it so you, the best result of this guys is if you put it over overnight in the fridge to marinate it and then the sauce i'm gonna keep this sauce because i'm gonna use it later on so let it drain there and i'm gonna show you all my ingredients the spice that i'm going to put in that so pineapple chop here chop up an apple okay in thin and then uh onions uh spring onion chop up spring onion. this i use i will use this as a garnish after i um cook all of that and then put it on top that is the purpose of my spring onions and then here's the garlic guys i chop up the garlic like that big not too tiny not too fine because i love the piece uh, to eat the piece the piece of uh, of garlic i don't know about you and then i got this chicken broth to put in, to mix to, to taste on this slice uh, of pep red peppers and i always put this chop up very tiny chop up potato and a tomato and of course the black pepper okay i'm gonna mix all that for while this is the chicken is draining drying so i'm gonna heat up the i'm going to heat the the frying pan okay and heat up the oil so i'm just gonna switch it on to six and then there's the oil and just heat it up there that's it's heating up and just wait for it to enough to add the chicken to fry the chicken so as you can see here uh, the the kitchen roll has been soaked already so i'm gonna lift it up and i'm gonna replace it into a new one again so i'm gonna need this one okay until it turned dry so i'm gonna put it again see that guys until it stopped dripping because what we, we try to avoid to do here is to have it is to have a splash too much when you fry it you know and while it's there i'm going to sprinkler spring some salt on it right let me just check if the oil is already hot this is how you try point um as you can see i it's already turned brown or golden brown so i'm gonna take it out and put in here i fry it already and uh, i'm gonna add the onions and the garlic now okay so let me just lower a bit the heat so now guys i'm gonna add the garlic yeah and then the onions i'm gonna 
Kita di sini Kalau ada doain Ini gak ada Smells Kok cuma ada ini But it depends if On your taste You see, the tomato It will add Enhance the taste of The soury Sweety sour Sweet and sour You know, sort of sweet sour The taste of the pineapple To go along with the pineapple So Some people, they don't put tomato But I do that I do minute simmer it for two minutes until it's really boiled well at this point I'm going to add the chicken and then give it a little stir on top of that see when the chicken as the potato is cooking the chicken as well is going to cook at the same time and like that and then i'm gonna add up the pineapple chunks chop up pineapple that's this this doesn't uh, i'm i need to simmer it for at least 10 minutes minutes cover it for 10 minutes and remember that I marinated it from the start the chicken so I save I saved the marinated sauce and I'm going to add it here okay because it has a pineapple juice in it lemon squeeze <laughs> lemon juice <laughs> so I'm gonna drop the chicken stock to the taste. Now cover it and as always my mm, ingredient one of my ingredients I always spice it up whatever I cook <laughs> so Every time I cook meat, so I always put paprika. Go paprika and uh, black pepper, ground black pepper. And also, if I want to to have a bite, like uh, you know, spice it up a bit with chili, so I put chili also. So I'm just gonna drop, sprinkle it with chili powder. Smells good already, guys. See that? Cover. Cooking in my <laughs> unfinished kitchen. <laughs> I know it's not curry, guys, but I always add paprika, black pepper, and a little bit of turmeric powder. There you go. To give it a color, to give or to put color, a little bit of color of my cooking. It's very just a small, very small amount. So this is my chicken or oh. <laughs> chicken, uh, Hawaiian chicken. Oh, diva! So it's done. Now I'm just gonna serve it in the serving dish. Okay, guys. It's a wrap, wrap, and bang, bang, bang. See, try. Mmm, yummy. So yummy. Uh, let me just drop this one. This is all the chop up spring onion.
and the green one I'm going to use it later after serving, uh, placing in the serving dish as a garnish. Add on top the top of spring onion to garnish it. This is make Hawaiian chicken. going to eat it obviously because um, we are hungry that red peppers I just love that red pepper 